even right now in the United States, guys, if you look at the CDC's own website, there's the URLs. Based on the official statistics from the CDC's own website, despite the high number of COVID-19 deaths, which could potentially be inflated, right? We've already gone through that. But in spite of that high number, more people have officially been designated to have died from pneumonia. This is according to the death certificates, which they claim is their most accurate statistics they have available. All right? It's on their own website. There's the URL. You can check it out for yourself. Now, something we have to just explore a little bit further that I need to provide some clarity and context on is when you do go check out this link, what you are going to find is it's slightly been changed. So you see this original screenshot that I've shared with you. It says updated June 8th, 2020. Then it says COVID-19 deaths, 92,922. Then over here it says pneumonia deaths, 104,699. Well, if you go to a more recent screenshot that I took, you see it says there updated July 14th, 2020. What you will notice is now it says all deaths involving COVID-19. And for the pneumonia section, it says deaths involving pneumonia with or without COVID-19, excluding influenza deaths, which is a mouthful, right? It's, it's a bit confusing. And remember, that's a tactic of deception. Truth is always about simplifying things, making it easy for people to understand. Deception makes it unnecessarily complex. Now, if you take a closer look, what you will find that remains unchanged is the coding of the death. So look just below over there, where it says all deaths involving COVID-19. You notice in the brackets, it says U07.1. That's the coding for COVID-19 death. And it's still the same on the previous screenshot I took for June 8th. The same thing will also be found under the pneumonia section, where it's J12.0 through to J18.9. It's the same on both forms. Now, to help you understand just how dodgy they can be though, because they've clearly changed it. I'm going to quickly just school you and clue you up on something known as the Internet Archive and how it works. So the Internet Archive is a brilliant place to go when you find something shocking online that you want to save, you want to archive that image, you want to screenshot it so that it's always available moving forward. Because of course, you know, we live in the age of censorship where Somebody might have their page deleted, something might be banned, and so on and so forth. A URL might be changed. And that's precisely what the CDC, so, so dodgy, have done in this particular instance. They've decided to change the phrasing. Somebody probably became aware of it and then told them, look, no, we can't do that. You've got to change it. People will <laughs> be, go crazy if they find out that more people have officially been designated to have died from pneumonia than COVID-19. So if you go to the Internet Archive right now, I and many other silent heroes out there, I see you and I appreciate you, have saved that previous URL. So you can go in and you can fact check what I'm saying, is what I'm trying to uh, simply put into context here. You can go look into it for yourself and see how they've changed it. And this will help you become wise to their ways and help you become aware of how dodgy they can actually be.